everybody. I am back today. Um, I got a pretty exciting package in the mail and I wanted to share with you guys what I got. This is a doggy video. So um, I was looking for a travel bag for Mako because I plan on taking him um, like on vacations and stuff whenever I go anywhere. And so I wanted to have a bag specifically for him for all of his, you know, things that he would need when traveling. So I did some research and I was looking, I looked at so many different bags and there was one that stood out to me, but it was sold out everywhere. So that was a good sign for me, um, seeing that everybody wanted it. Um, Chewy was sold out of it. I don't even know if PetSmart or Petco carried it. Um, they were sold out of it on their website. The only place that had it was Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> so I got it, I ordered it online um, at Bed Bath & Beyond and I was super excited to get it. The one thing that bothered me was that I could not find a review video on this particular bag and I, I think it's a new product by this um, company and so I, I guess not many people had had a chance to get it and review it or whatever um, but I couldn't find a review video and I always like to watch people review items um, before I buy them just because it gives me a better idea of what I'm getting and so I figured I would just kind of film this and show you guys the bag and then that way if you're looking for a dog bag you can kind of base your decision off of my video um, just because there's not another one out there that I could find anyway um, so the brand is called Overland Dog Gear and I've already taken it out of the package but this is what the package looks like um, so it's a weekender backpack and it's actually it says somewhere on here enough for a weekend or even a week away so you can make this work for a short trip or a long trip um, whatever you're doing so like I said the brand is Overland Dog Gear and they have um, a lot of different bags that I looked at um, they had like some duffel bags and um, different like food bags and they had all kinds of stuff um, like a nighttime walking bag just everything you could think of and so um, I really liked that they had all the different options but this is one that I really liked I like it it's a backpack and easy to carry um, I could even take this like hiking or something or you know if I was going out with him just you know locally like around town or something um, I could have all of his stuff in this bag um, and he'd be ready to go so I guess we will just um, go over the packaging first so this is what it looks like um, on the front it just tells you what it is for small dogs it has two five cup food carriers that holds 10 cups of food total so that's what you see right here the two little food bags and then this is the entire book bag and there is um, a little flap that folds down and you get collapsible bowls um, it's got a um, side pocket and then a mesh pocket over here so lots of compartments and things which I love and then on the back it just goes into detail about what each um, part of the bag is so it comes with a placemat and bowls that are removable the little silicone pop-up bowls which I'll show you in a second um, built-in waste bag dispenser which is really cool so you can um, put your little poop bags in here and be ready to go um, a side pocket and a mesh pocket like I said the two um, lined food carriers so this one shows some treats and some dog food and then inside the bag there is a divider um, and this says divider keeps food carriers stacked neatly inside so they're not like falling all over the place in your bag um, this is a zippered pocket for secure storage uh, let's see there's a luggage ID tag adjustable padded shoulder straps and this has collapsible silicone bowls and placemats store conveniently in the front flap so it has some really cool features I think and um, I've already opened it and looked at it and I'm really impressed with the quality of the bag so um, I actually got the black color um, I think they had the pink um, still in stock at Chewy I think I'm, I'm not sure don't quote me on that um, but I really wanted a black one since um, I have Mako I didn't really want a pink one plus I'm not a huge fan of pink I like just classic so um, it's a really nice bag like nice like it feels um, not like waterproof but like water resistance where it would just kind of like run off the bag and this is a big bag you guys I did not think of it it was gonna be uh, this big it's got the measurements on here um, says 16 inches by 13 inches by 7 inches so 16 inches tall 
13 inches wide and then 7 inches deep, which is a, a really good size bag. Um, so I was really impressed with just pulling it out of the, the package. So it's just black and it's got like little gold hardware and it says Overland Dog Gear on it. And it has the little um, luggage tag on the whatever little handle thing at the top. So I think that's pretty cool. It has a place you put your name, address, city, state. Um, so that's kind of cute. So that is just what the outside of the bag looks like. And in the back you have um, really nice um, padded straps and there's padding right here in the middle so it's not too rough on your back and I also wanted to mention on here it says that it is um, this meets airline carry-on requirements so I don't do much traveling by plane I like to drive um, but in case you were wondering it does meet um, airline requirements so that's kind of cool carry-on requirements so um, I guess we can just start by opening up the top flap here. It has a really big opening and I like that the zipper comes kind of, it's hard to explain, like towards the back. It doesn't just go up and stop, it goes up and around just a little bit. So when you open it, it goes all the way back. So it can just be like sitting on your table or on the floor and you know, it's not like awkward and you're trying to like dig around in a bag. You open it up and you can see everything that's inside of your bag. So um, I'm just going to pull out the little things that were in here. The one thing that I'm a little skeptical about is it says that each of these holds five cups. Now I don't know if I'm just, I, I don't have like the, the way to look at it the right way or something, but this just does not look like it would hold five cups to me. Um, that's something that I'm going to have to test out and see. Um, Either way, I mean, it's a decent size little cup. There's two of them. Um, but like I said, I just find it hard to believe that five cups fits in each of these. So together, it's supposed to hold 10 cups of food. Um, but like I said, I'll have to test it out and see. I mean, I'm sure it does. I just can't see it happening, but we'll see. So anyway, it comes with two of these little baggies for food and treats. Um, and they are lined and it said that everything, let me look on here again. Um, it was, I said something about, oh, where was it? Yeah, the bag, the food carriers, and the placemat, which I'll show you in a minute, are hand washable. And the silicone bowls are top rack dishwasher safe. So everything is washable. So you could just like stick these in the sink, wash them out, um, and then just let them dry because they're that like um, weather, like water resistant material. So you can definitely just like take a washcloth, wash them out, be done. So two of these, and then I'll show you the inside of the bag as well as I can. Take out the little, uh, oh I think this is removable actually. It is removable. I'm not going to take it out because it's going to make too much noise. And, have a sleeping puppy here but um yeah it has the little removable um divider there it's hard to see um but yeah so your dog food or your treats or whatever um can sit up nice and neat and not be sloshed around inside of your bag um so I think that is pretty cool and this is a really decent sized bag in here um I like the picture on the box here. It shows, you know, toys, a couple towels. I mean, you could put anything in here that you needed. Um, a blanket, um, two toys, just everything. A leash, a collar, a harness, everything would fit in here. Um, for me anyway, that I would need for um, Mako. So I really like the inside and it's all padded. So, I mean, it's, it's a nice bag. It's not gonna get, you know, your stuff's not gonna get squished or messed up or anything like that. Um, once it's in the bag so I really like that so I'm gonna stick these little bags back in here um, I'm going to zip this back up and like I said the zipper is really really nice um, they go all the way around there's two zippers so it goes all the way around and back just a little bit so that the entire flap falls back okay and then we'll show the sides here this is just um, a mesh pocket um, to put water or you know an umbrella whatever you need and then you have just a, si a regular side pocket that's like part of the bag it's not mesh um, so yeah you could put like a wallet or something in here um, if you're brave and we'll have your wallet hanging out of a dog bag I don't know <laughs> um, and so then this is the front and this is where you have 
um, your little zipper pouch. This is where you can put your um, little doggy bags or little hole where you can slip your bags through. And then you can just pull them out if he goes to the bathroom and clean up his mess. And then this is the part that is really, really cool. So it's um, it's got Velcro right here and you just lift it up and there's a zippered pouch. Let's see if I can do this. Kind of awkward. <laughs> There's a zipper pouch and this folds out and you have a little place for your dog to eat while you're traveling, which is so cool. Um, you can leave this here or you can take all of it out. So I'll show you the different pieces. So you get two of these little silicone dog bowls that just pop out and they open up. You can put your food and then there's another one, put water, okay. And then it has a little placemat that just slides out and you can put both of your bowls on here so that they're not slipping and sliding around everywhere and your dog is ready to go. You can put it in, you know, the little kitchen of the place that you're staying, you know, wherever. Or if you're just on a hike or something, you can fold down the top and pop open your um, bowls and they can eat right from the bag, which is really, really cool. So I think it's a really well-made bag. Um, I'm impressed with it and I'm excited to um, try it out. The next trip that I have planned that Mako is going to be coming um, with me on is in November um, to Charleston. So I don't know if that will be the time that I use it or not. We might go somewhere before then, but I'm really excited. I, like I said, I did a lot of research on different dog bags and this was the one that really stood out to me. Um, and like I said, I just wished that there had been a review video so that I could, you know, see the bag and um, all of its components. So I'm really impressed with it and I really like how it turned out. Um, so hopefully this was helpful to anybody who is looking to um, get a travel bag for their dog. Your little dog luggage, that's what it says on the box, dog luggage. So it's really cute. Um, and very functional. So, like I said, it meets airline carry-on requirements, which is important for a lot of people. Um, not so much for me because I travel mostly by car. But I'm really excited, and I hope this video helps you guys out, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.